Welcome to week three of ski conditioning here with Outdoor Gear Exchange. It is Thursday and we are doing arms and core today. I will give you a minute to just start moving your body and everybody to join. If you want to start doing some squats, some movement of your arms, maybe some jumpy jacks, go ahead and do that as I start my introduction. Okay. What I want everybody to have with them is some water, possibly a towel, and then also a chair or something to do some tricep moves on, or a modification for your push-ups. So if you don't already have that, go ahead and grab that now, and I'll go ahead and get started. My name is Kelsey Barkland. I am an outdoor gear exchange gear expert, certified group fitness instructor, and doctor of physical therapy here locally at Catamount Physical Therapy. Most of all, I am just like you, living here in Vermont, I love skiing and I'm here to get in shape for a great snow season. So a little bit of housekeeping, I don't have any music on my end and I also want you to do what you are capable of. You don't have to necessarily do what I'm doing. So I will give some modifications, but if that doesn't feel right for your body today, do what feels good to you, make something up, keep your body moving, okay? Grab water when you need it and let's go ahead and get started. We have about a 30 to 40 minute workout this morning. We are gonna start with just some warm-ups of a plank walkout. So I want you to find yourself on one side of the mat and go ahead and walk those hands down. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. Walk it out into a plank, walk it back. Reach those arms up nice and high. Let's do a few more. Go at whatever pace works for you. Start getting settled into your workout this morning. Thank your body for waking you up. Good, let's do two more together. Next little warm up move here. I want you to go down onto your back. So I'm gonna pause right here. We're gonna do what's called dead bugs. So we are going to be on our back here. I want you to bring both legs up, both arms up. Drive your back in, kind of into the mat. Draw your belly button in. Keep your core nice and tight as you draw one leg down, opposite arm back, and switch. We're just warming up the core, building some heat before we get started. Try to keep your rib cage down, your face and jaw relaxed. Good, couple more here. Remember you can do just the legs if you want, maybe just the arms. Good, and relax. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and start our workout portion, just about 22 minutes long. So stick with me. We have 30 seconds on and 15 seconds off. I'm gonna start demoing the first move before we get started. So maybe grab a sip of water and get ready. We are going to have some plank up downs. So I'll start with the heaviest modification, which is going to be on a chair. We are gonna be here, and then I want you to go down onto your elbows and back up, okay? Other option is to be on your knees using the chair or you can push that chair away and we can be down on the floor on your knees or up on your toes okay maybe try to rotate which arm you go down with first and which arm you come up with just to keep yourself a little bit symmetrical we are going to go ahead and get started here in 10 seconds get our workout started i have to pause I have to, hmm. sorry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I guess I'm subscribing to a new app now, but I want one 30 seconds of plank up downs. Here we go. Fifteen 
seconds down. Three, two, one. Relax, 15 seconds rest. Second round, going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Whatever level you're doing, I want you to be nice and strong through the shoulders, nice and strong through the core. Maybe try to minimize the rocking of the hips, side to side. You got 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Relax. Nice job. 15 seconds rest. How you doing? We got two more rounds, okay? We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Keep it breathing, keep it moving. If you need to modify, do what's right for your body. Halfway through. Three, two, one. Quick rest, last little short rest, and we have our last time of these up downs coming up next. Stay strong, stay with me, warming up those arms. We're going in five, four, three, two, let's go. Move 
for a second before you do the next rep, and that is totally okay. This can be pretty intense on the shoulders, so if you need to go down onto the floor, remember you have your option here, where you're leaning back, coming up. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Two rounds down, two rounds to go. You got it. We're gonna come back up onto the chair, kind of do our bent knee option. Three, two, one. Third round. Woo! Arms are burning. I will be happy to be changing the moves next week. This tricep burner was really hard. We got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. One more round. You've been hanging in with me. This is our third week of this tricep set. You stay strong, stick with me. We're going in five, four, three, two, let's go. Whew. Ten seconds left. Last little push here. Stick with me. Five, four, three, two, rest. One minute rest. Grab a sip of water. Roll out those wrists maybe. Take a little tricep stretch if you want. Take that arm behind the head. All right, and I'm going to show you our next move. We have single arm planks, high planks. So like a push-up position. And we're going to do some T's and W's. So I'll show you on the chair first. So hands back here. I'm going to leave my left hand nice and strong on the chair as I take my right arm out into a little side T position and then a W position. Focusing on squeezing my shoulder blades together. We can also do this down on our knees with the chair or you can do it on your knees here or on your toes. Okay, so choose what's right for you. We're going in 10 seconds. I'm going to stick with doing my left arm on the ground the entire time for our first round. You can choose to alternate. Here we go. Come on up. Arm out to the side. Arm in a little W position. Out to the side. Pull it back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Stay stable through the core. Push the floor away with that steady arm. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. I'm going to switch sides so now I have my right arm stabilizing myself on the ground as I take that left arm. I will say, this is a killer for in between the shoulder blades. In a good way. Ready, set, go. Right arm is stabilizing, left arm is working. They're both working in reality. Whew. I'm also focusing on my hips, making sure that my hips are not rotating. I'm keeping them nice and stable. Someone could balance a teapot on my back right now, or at least I hope they could. Three, two, one. Relax, switch sides. One more round on either side. We're going in five, three, two, one. Let's go. Arms and abs. Definitely feel it. She really say arms and core, because our core is all the way from our shoulders to our glutes. 10 seconds left. It's not just the abs. Three, two, one. Switch it around. Last round. Remember, take any modifications you need at any time. 
we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Drive the thumb towards the ceiling, then drive the elbow back behind you. Squeezing those shoulder blades together with each move. Halfway. Push the floor away with that hand that's on the ground. Stay strong. Three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out. You get a minute rest. Nice job. This is a tough first three weeks. I agree. I don't know if it's just me to whip myself into shape or if it's just generally a tough workout. So thank you for coming back to your third week. Our next move is our side plank with a crunch. So a couple options here. We can do one leg here, up, one leg here, or you can do that hand in front of you and come up into this position here, okay? And back down. I rock slightly back onto my glutes and then I use this hand to stabilize and my core to bring myself up, lower myself down with control. So options are here, here, or that full, ready, set, go. Do what works for you. I'll keep maybe showing a little variety here. So I'm gonna mix between the three for this first round. If you need a little bit more viewing, a little bit more guidance. Driving that knee to the elbow if you're doing that modification. Three, two, one, relax. We're gonna swing into our other side. Two rounds on each side. Here we go, five, four, three, two, let's go. Personally, I exhale as I come up, inhale as I come down. Exhale with exertion. Three, two, one, relax. Switch sides. Right here, we're going in five, three, two, one, here we go. I want you to imagine that it's a lot of powder on this day and you just got yourself super stuck deep inside a big snowbank and you have to dig yourself out. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. You're gonna be strong enough to pull yourself out because you've been doing these workouts. Okay? Last round, here we are. Three, two, one. Exhaling on the way up. Keeping your face, keeping your jaw relaxed. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Nice job. That's a hard one. All right, we have two more moves before our final challenge. Next one is going to be a cross body mountain climber. Again, I'm gonna show you the progressions. Choose what's right for you. Remember, once you choose something, you don't have to stick with it. You can come back, choose something else. So, first option is gonna be with the chair or a bench or the counter. And you're going to be in this high plank position, driving your knee up setting it back down. You can do this slow or you can choose 
to do this fast. Whatever works for you. Other option is going to be down on the hands in a high plank. Again, belly button pulled in, abs here, fast or slow, or you can be down on the elbows. Whatever you choose, I want you to get there now. We're going in three, two, one. Personally, I like the slow versus the fast, and I like focusing on not letting my hips dip. If you know, if you're going fast, I want you to keep nice level hips. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. We have three more rounds of these mountain climbers. You got it. You woke up for this workout this morning. You're sticking with me. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Halfway. Power through the hands. Push the floor away. Keep the core tight. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax down. Two rounds down. Two to go. Maybe roll out the wrists real quick. You got it. It's a lot on the wrist today. Three, two, one. Because of that, I'm going to choose to go down onto my elbows. Do my next rounds here. If you want to keep your um, glutes a little lower, your hips a little lower, you can choose to do like a little Spider-Man with knee out to the side. Ten seconds left. Five. And relax. One round left. Then we get a quick break before we're almost done. Five seconds. Three, two, let's go. Exhale with the knee drive. Let's go. 
If this feels like it's not doable for you right, for right now, remember those dead bugs that we did during warm up? I want you to do those. Three, two, one, relax. I'm gonna show you those dead bugs. You can go to this option if you need it for our next two rounds. Dead bugs are right here. You can do the arms and the legs or just the legs, right? Okay, this is your option. Third round, ready, set, let's go. Take whatever you need. It's just important that you're here, that you're moving your body, you're taking care of yourself, you're getting yourself ready for ski season so you can have a great one. Three, two, one, relax. Last round coming up, it's a lot on the neck, okay? So if you need that other option, take it here with me. We're going in five seconds. You can get a lot out of this move if you put into it. Ready, go. Good job, halfway. Three, two, one. Nice job. Minute rest. As I explained our last challenge of this morning, which is going to be those max push-ups. So I'm going to set a timer for one minute, and I want you to do whatever works for you, but we are going to do push-ups, whether you want to do them on your countertop, on a chair, on your knees, or on a full push-up. I want you to choose, excuse me, you to choose, and we're going to do as many as we can in one minute. You can choose a variety of that, so my personal way that I like to do these is do as many fulls as I can, and then drop down onto my knees, okay? Maybe you do as many as you can on, on the knees on the floor, and then you move over to a chair or the countertop. Keep your body moving for the whole minute. We're going to start here in five, four, Three, two, one, let's go. I want you to focus on not holding your breath. Keep the breath moving. Whether you exhale on the down or the up, I personally exhale on the up. Halfway. Fifteen seconds left. stretches. Let's first just sit back on the heels, take those hands, clasp them behind you. So it's like you're holding your own hand, just like this, but behind you. Straighten out those arms, sit up nice and tall, tuck the chin. Act like someone has a string coming from the crown of your head and is pulling you up towards the ceiling. Okay. Pull the shoulder blades together, maybe a little stretch on the front body. Okay, let's take one arm across. A little bit of a stretch between the shoulder blades. Make sure that that arm is staying down, that shoulder staying down. Start slowing the breath. Good, switch it up. Shoulder down away from the ears. Maybe take a little few neck movements this morning, if that feels good. I just got a little crack out of my neck, so 
Must have kneaded in. All right. Take one arm behind for a little tricep stretch here. Hopefully you all have all of your equipment or your quiver together for the season because it's chilly outside, snow's flying, and we're gonna be on skis soon if you haven't already been on skis. Good, switch it up. We are halfway through ski conditioning right now. You have a joyous three more weeks with me. So get ready. The moves are gonna change. You're gonna be fantastic. Good, switch it up. And then I just want a little seated cat cow here as we finish. So you're gonna round through the spine, hang the head, and then sit up tall, arch the back, pull the shoulder blades back. Good, let's do that just a few more times. If you need to head out now, head out now. I hope you have a great day. Good, last one. Good, nice big inhale with the arms. Fill up the lungs and let it out. Good. If you are choosing to celebrate Thanksgiving today, I hope that you have a great Thanksgiving with family, friends, or whoever you choose to celebrate that with. And I will see you next week, Tuesday, 6.30 a.m. for legs and core, okay? So go ahead and join me. I'll be zooming in from a sweet remote spot. And if that does not work, you will be able to catch that on the um, IGTV or the YouTube. So. Go ahead and tune in there and hope to see you soon.